I consider myself somewhat articulate. So when someone can articulate a point that I have reiterated on this channel time and time again, but in a far more concise and, well, better put together manner than I have, I'm going to give it some love. I'm going to shout it out, particularly when it can get through when it can get through the knuckleheads that is fam TV. So <laughs> let's get into it. This is all, we're gonna cut, this is the, this is basically how things have been explained to me. So right here you have uh, MSNBC, CNN, ABC. This one's gonna be Fox. We're just gonna put that guy on the side. It says it says highlighter, not Hitler. Come. <laughs> so um, the media, the all the all the colors up front are the media. Hello, everybody. <laughs> and uh, here you have Black Lives Matter. So. Which is nothing more than a brand. Let's be clear about this, all right? Black Lives Matter is a brand it, it ha that has absolutely nothing to do with black life. It is about, it is basically um, intersectionality using the history of this country as a shield and as a permission slip for whatever for oh my goodness you like america is unclean america is uh, uh, america owes someone something let's keep going who owns a black lives matter who invests in black lives matter well the clinton foundation yeah uh by the way uh well he's gonna get into that in a minute but um yeah the like all these uh, Haiti, I hate to hate Haitians, Haitian Americans. I hate to put you to the carpet like this, but um, yeah, when it comes to a lot of that blackness, that's why they chose Haiti. That's why the Clinton Foundation uses Haiti the way that they do, so they can um bring Haitians into the country. Just oh, it's all black, and thusly, you know, you it and and, and strengthen that shield that uh, Black Lives Matter has via this country's history. So now you have an event. The major news networks have to cover the event. An African American man is killed by police. It doesn't matter that he's a felon. It doesn't matter that he put a gun to a pregnant woman's stomach and did five years. It doesn't matter that he was in jail for cocaine. It doesn't matter that at the time of his arrest he was on methamphetamine and fentanyl and was positive for COVID-19. Let's just throw all that out. That doesn't matter. Okay? Unjustly murdered by a police officer. So the call comes down the pipeline. We gotta get, we gotta organize. So Black Lives Matter organizes all these peaceful protests, right? And here's where we diverge because it, I believe that Antifa is Black Lives Matter. I believe it's like I believe that like uh, those uh that should be dark red, you know, that should be crimson red, not bright red and black. They're all protesting and they're fucking outraged justifiably. But what else do you have? We have Antifa, who's paid for by George Soros. These are highly trained professional rioters and escalators. So they move in and disperse throughout all the different riots, right? And then the Clinton Foundation pumps money into promoting this stuff on social media and pushing the movement. And so the networks all scramble. I think it's a. I think there is a certain level of organic, um, uh, uh, pushing of that narrative, which is like I'm starting to see the resentment and the bounce back really come back from it. Uh, when you have your Sean Kings, your Oprah and your Oprah uh, approved Sean Kings and Tariq Nasheeds of the world, talking about white race soldiers like the race hustlers, your Al Sharptons, everyone who has for the last 50 years and some change uh, may gone out of their way to point the finger at everybody except for the except for the people that that need it to be point, pointed at. Like, yeah, it, it's 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 all of them. So I do believe it, like uh, it, that 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 whole putting money into the whole social media thing a, a portion of that is organic because there are people who have this mindset i've been you guys if you've been on this channel long enough you've seen videos where people are just sitting there screaming how you know the clan's gonna be going down broad street in north new jersey with uh you know saying on horseback just lynching like bro like <laughs> <laughs> like can our rhetoric be a little bit more realistic but no because you have these welfare states 
that have been funded as well, full of, you know, nothing but estrogen and, and, and men who have no true idea of how to deal with their testosterone. So they're just that they're reacting emotionally. Let's keep going now. They're filming the social unrest. As these people are protesting, these professional rioters and looters start setting fires. They burn cop cars. They set up brick pallets. They destroy public property. And they stay in the shadows and hide behind and make it look like Black Lives Matter and African American culture. <laughs> See, that's the thing about quote unquote African American culture. Um, the media portrayal is completely different than the reality of everybody's situation. We are not a monolith. This is not, it is not one size fits all first and foremost. Secondly, the, um, there were plenty, plenty of ignorance and white people. Like that's the thing, like all colors were involved in these riots, all colors. I, I am not abjugating anybody from any responsibility on this one okay if you want to put the crayola cabal everybody is was was in on this make absolutely no mistake about it all right bro the movement is unruly violent and insane the media then fucking films all of this shit and this is all you see in your entire feed but george soros and ted turner and fucking turner broadcasting and the rockefellers and the fucking list goes on the rothschilds they own most of these media companies. And it's only six of them. I mean, <laughs> like real talk. After Clinton signed the uh, Telecommunications Act in, Act in 1996, yeah, like who can and cannot uh, produce mass produce media for the United States has been dwindled severely. And that's how, you know, and, and this was back in the 90s. So let's say somebody was born, you know, saying like late 90s, they're in they're at the age right now where they have they where they've been pumped full of all of this different um, propaganda to believe that they are somehow victims in the United States of America, which is ludicrous in and of itself. And and, and to completely ignore everything, every bit of progress made over the past uh, since this country's inception. But let's continue. Media companies are making billions of dollars by advertising because everyone's transfixed to the news and everyone's talking about it. So what happens is, is that the same people who instigate the event and organize the protest and escalate the protest make money off the African-American community's outrage and further deplete the morality of the... So that's the thing. It's not just the African American community outrage. It's just the decent human outrage when it comes to seeing just wrong being done. The same way when we all got upset with George Floyd got hit. The same way we all got upset when when stores got rioted and looted. So, like, if there, I think that 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 oh my goodness, that outrage, particularly with the Karens, I mean, <laughs> that outrage isn't isn't purely uh, quote unquote African American outrage. It is, uh, it, it's just like, hey, wow, you don't, like we as human beings, I think it's an innate in a lot of us, not all of us clearly, but in a lot of us to like, hey, we see something wrong. We want to say, hey, stop it, cut it out. You know, like that's, that's just how I believe we are and, and something innately wrong. And that usually comes down to people or property being damaged or destroyed. Let's keep going. It stinks. Additionally, while all this is going on, Hillary Clinton, and our buddies are all on trial and they don't want this shit on the news so this is a huge gaslight and people are not paying attention to what's going on now why would they want to do all this because they're afraid first of all that she doesn't get her appeal and she has to testify she might be found guilty in a court and then be found, be found guilty of treason which would mean she would either get jail time or she would be sentenced to death for, for being a traitor to america and so when you, when when I sit here and I'm like, yeah, the Clinton Foundation and anything that really has their hands tied to the Clinton Foundation, i.e. the uh, like the 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 the, the, the Phil Murphy's um nominee, <laughs> like who I still haven't heard anything about the Constitution from, uh, like like when when that's the the type of craziness that's at play right now, they're like, yeah, they're gonna try to keep us completely in the dark. 
I mean, I've been seeing that the Clinton thing's been going off, but it's just I'm waiting for enough of it to come through. I'm waiting for, like, you know what I'm saying, more information to be able to fully talk about it. But as far as, like, you know what I'm saying, like, this is exactly the deal. This is what's been going on. The DNC's not going to be looking at or get light in the upcoming election if that's the case. Uh, these people, right, the same people, these companies, all the same six big families, they're the ones who make money of outsourcing all of our products and every all of these services that we do to China. Okay, Donald Trump puts tariffs on everything that comes in from China so that they have to pay a tax to America so that we can rebuild our economy, which takes money away from these families. They desperately don't want Donald Trump to stay in office because they don't want people from the DNC to be prosecuted and go to jail for treason. And they don't want to fucking pay the tariffs to China. And they don't want to build the American democracy because these people are, they're sick. They want to have control. And they've been getting away with this gaslighting situation on the American people for so many years. They feel generations, brother, generations. And uh, while they're sitting there, crying about tearing down confederate flags um uh, uh, co confederate statues and breaking down the the history of the country they're doing it's antagonistic they're doing it because they know oh we just need to keep the people outraged long enough but you know what they're not tearing down that that demon satanic uh uh statue that they have up in uh, um arkansas they're not tearing that one down notice that title to it there's a huge fucking problem going on where we have turned into this po this uh citizens policing other citizens over a, a, a veil of racism that doesn't and before that it was the cv bro like remember i've done videos of citizens like tripping about wearing the mask this is all about control <laughs> i've been saying it from for for the past four months this is about flexing control over the american people for the most part I'm, I'm african-american i'm 38 years old i've grown up in this country and i have not experienced actual racism i have spent 20 years traveling through 48 states and uh how many countries i don't know let's say 50 countries all over the Okay, he has me beat on the countries, but not the states, because we're the exact same age. And yeah, as someone who's lived in this country for 40 years, it's not it, to, to sit here and pretend like this is 1962 or 1955 or 1938 is complete hogwash. Uh, we don't have a problem with race here. And it's all manufactured. And yes, there is systemic racism, but the systematic racism is put in place by people like this. People, George Soros made his money by selling Jews to the Nazi party, by ratting people out. That's how he made his thing. Okay. Hillary Clinton is friends with David Duke, who, who's the head of the KKK. The Democratic Party is the party that lost the Civil War. The Democrats wanted to keep slavery. That's what people don't understand. In 1856, the Democrats... I'm sorry, bro, but they didn't want to keep slavery. They've kept slavery, friend. Look at these urban spaces. Look at the prison farms that they've turned into. They've kept slavery. It is not, no, they, no, no, no. They just did it with a smile and let, and let a couple of Negroes be, uh, be, be the wardens. Put a couple of families up, make sure that they, make sure that they did well. The only uh, exchange was that, hey, manufacturing, the things that would that will replace all the manufacturing and program and, and um, fathers with programs. That's it. You know, what I'm saying we'll, we'll replace the family with this welfare state. Plain and simple. And Republicans let them get away with it. I mean, like Republicans, your hands are not clean. I'm sorry. <laughs> like Your hands are not clean in any of this because you're like, eh, you know what? Fine, screw it. We'll just make the bread. We'll keep it pushing. We'll, 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 we'll do the whole white flight thing. So come on, man. Guys, I, like I said, he articulated it way better than I could. All right. So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss so it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice and want to get videos like this every single day, share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you don't like are the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Uh, this is a, uh, yeah, it, this is exactly what I have been saying for the past four months, just in a far more concise and direct way. 
shout out to my man for saying it. Shout out to Fam TV for uh, putting it for putting it up on the uh, page. And guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I mean, how far off is this? Is this just some weird nutty conspiracy theory stuff? Or I mean, like, is this so damn obvious that a moron such as myself could could see it way before? <laughs> could see it straight coming straight down the pipeline. Let me know. All right. And until the next one.